guys, today I'm going to review another Whatever After book. This one is the 10th one in the series, Sugar and Spice by Sarah Malinowski. But let's read the back. So actually the back doesn't um, have the writing. Um, it's actually over here because this is a, uh, what's it called? This is a hardcover. So the writing will be over here, like the kind of summary or like, um, I don't know what to call it actually, um, but it's here and the paper pack, it's on the back, but this is a hardcover. So it's over here. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Yum. Our magic mirror has dropped my brother and Jonah and me into the story of Hansel and Gretel. If we're lucky enough, if we're lucky, we may even get to taste the cake house. But we didn't count on accidentally getting trapped. The real Hansel and Gretel are on the run. And Jonah and I have taken their place. And the witch is making a kid casserole for dinner. Now we have to avoid being eaten. Pretend our dog is a cat. Learn to make kale smoothies. Befriend a talking duck. Or we may never make it back to our home. Sweet home. This book was really interesting and fun to read because um, at the beginning, they actually look a lot like Hansel and Gretel. It's like they're a copy paste of them. So when they meet Hansel and Gretel, they start talking. And since Hansel and Gretel, they, they have a evil stepmother, um, uh, what do you call uh, Abby and Jonah start to kind of brag that like, yeah, we have um, a um, golden ball and we have to eat. Um, vegetables for dinner while Hansel and Gretel since they're so poor they dream of eating vegetables um, and then yeah so they decide to help Hansel and Gretel and go to the cake house and when they find the cake house um, they decide to eat some of it and go inside and get the gems because um, and like get some money because they saw that there was like some money and gems and jewels and they decided to get them so they can help Hansel and Gretel um, but while they were going they found the while they were go, uh, going to the cake house they found the portal which is a tree so they knocked on uh, the tree tw twice and it made the same um, uh, like as their magic mirror it hisses then it uh, gives a purple glow so they know where the portal is so they go inside and are, while they're getting the gems um they see outside of the window that Hansel and Gretel knocked on um the tree and actually went to their house so they start to panic because Hansel and Gretel have went to where they live which is Smithville and then um they might have taken their place because they're like they look so alike um, so they start to panic, and then the witch comes, comes back and takes them and traps Jonah and Abby. And then Abby convinces the witch, because in the original story, the witch says that the boy is too thin and needs to be fatter, so it will taste better, I guess. And, um, Abby is, and then since Jonah is, like, not that skinny... Um, the witch decides to eat him straight away. But then um, Abby convinces the witch that um, Jonah is just um, kind of like full, <laughs> sorry, but he's kind of like a little fat because he's eaten all the sugar and cakes and stuff on the house. So then she convinces the witch that he needs to eat healthy food. So she, the witch is convinced and then Abby has to figure out a way to um like get rid of the witch and release her brother so they can go home and fast so the 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 story is really good and i really loved it it was like a good really good story and um i like the moral because in every one of these whatever after stories there is like a kind of moral like for example it's don't um like je being jealous is not good or like, don't judge a book by, um, by its cover and like that. So this one is, like, don't brag to people. Like, some people are less fortunate than you, but that doesn't mean you should, like, show off and brag about it because they, like, they'd get jealous, obviously. And 
yeah, so that's what um the moral is. And um I really enjoyed this. It was a really good story. Like, especially since because in all the books, like usually they interact a lot with um the characters, like the main characters of the story. Well in this they're just like trying to um go back because the main characters are living their life. So it was really interesting. And I honestly love the story. So I would really recommend it. And it's just like also the plot twists and the there are so so much like um funny things. Also the book is in first person in the perspective of Abby, which is really nice. Um that's the same thing with all the other books, but it's um so nice. Like I really loved it. And it's the perspective perspective of abby which means like it's her thoughts what she's feeling like if she's scared or happy or worried and like that but it was really nice so yeah and i really hope you like you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe bye